Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be changing the oil in our three liter eco diesel from Ram built by Fiat in Italy. This is a 2021 Ram 1500. Uh, any 2019 to at least 2022 will uh, follow these same instructions. Um, just to give you a lay of the land here, you've got your oil fill cap right there, your dipstick, is right there in yellow. Here's your air box. Here's your coolant. That's your brake fluid and brake booster. And then right here, you have your um, oil filter right there with that little uh, socket cap. Let's go underneath real quick and give you a lay of lamb down below. Uh, before we do that, actually, you can see we got a drain right here to drain all the oil out. We've got two oils that meet spec here. Um, we've got our slide. We have our oil filter right here. I'm also gonna be installing this Valvo Max uh, quick changer. It's the M14-1.5. This will allow me to quick drain the oil without needing a, uh, a socket. And uh, our owner's manual, which indicates that we should be changing our oil every 10,000 miles. And as for how much oil you actually need, three liter turbo diesel, 8.5 quarts that's with the filter so you'll run it for a second turn it off and then make sure that you uh, uh, Check your dipstick let it all settle down uh, And finally before we go underneath the truck keep in mind that I have just taken this thing to the gas station and back 10 minute drive Let things get heated up. the oil temperature was 220 when I parked it Give about 15 minutes let things settle down with the engine will cool down. Let's go underneath the, 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 the uh, engine Before I drain I like to actually open up the filler cap Here's our oil pan right there, and there's our drain plug. It's a size 13 socket. Um, <laughs> but uh, here is the, <laughs> well, I have a protection package. There's a skid plate here, but there's this guy right here in the way, which is part of the frame. So the frame is just underneath, <laughs> just off kilter where that drain plug is. So we're going to do the old aluminum foil trick. trick and uh, basically put foil underneath and kind of fish it back up here. Just be obviously be careful, there's stuff that's hot under here. A lot of oil. Let's just quickly go into this socket here. So this is the socket that goes um, into your, uh, your vehicle. The issue I have is that even though this will um, go in, my 24 millimeter socket um, it's just not deep enough to make the, to make this work, and so I'm going to thread this in by hand, and then just take a normal wrench. Just keep in mind, if you have a 24 millimeter socket, or sorry, wrench, you'll be better off. The issue is, uh, even if I had a deep socket, uh, these two assembled with that frame rail that goes underneath where the drain plug is, I can't even get it in there anyway. That's now installed. Now we just need to thread in the actual uh, thing. So as far as torque goes, I, I, I felt resistance and then turned it another eighth of a turn. That's it. Um, there's not a lot of thickness in those threads. I don't know torque spec. Look it up if you really care that much, but do not over torque these things because, uh, well, there's no need. So now you have a very easy to use drain plug with a hose that comes out of it. That makes it much simpler to drain without needing any of the aluminum foil treatment. And you can drain at your own speed right into your reservoir. Pretty nice. Uh, keep that OEM drain plug though for safekeeping, but it's somewhere easy to get to just in case you ever need to uh, swap this out. If you're OCD like me and want to remove the engine cover, this guy right here, uh, it's two 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, one right here by the oil filler, one right there. And just so you know, the oil filter, which is right there, it's a 27 millimeter socket that you can get in a hardware store if you need it. And it's 25 newton meters of torque. These are plastic threads. It has a brand new uh, rubber O-ring, so there's no need to over torque this. It's not under any sort of structural stress. Just pop it in, tight it down, fill the resistance, eighth of a turn, and you're good. Or use a torque wrench as you should. Torqued to 25 newton meters, right there. And uh, it's snug. You should have no more gap around your fingers when it's torqued all the way down. I want to show you the hose apparatus here. As you see, we have uh, this here. It has a little push on there. So whenever you 
you have is you have this tube lined up for your reservoir. When you screw this in, as you screw this in, it's pushing on that ball joint. And then just to, to stop draining, you unscrew it. Pretty nice and easy. Sweet stuff. I'm gonna keep this handy just in case I need it.